Brad Johnson here from Johnson.audio, and today I'm going to talk about a concept I learned out of Simon Sinek's book, Start With Why. And if you haven't heard of Simon Sinek, he released a very viral video about millennials that if you haven't seen or even heard of, I'd be very, very surprised. But I will leave a link so you can check it out. He has a great TED Talk on the Start With Why concept as well that you should check out. But really, I just recommend you go and buy that book. It'll be worth your time. It was recommended to me by one of my business mentors. You can get it at a link below. And full disclosure, it is an Amazon affiliate link, so we'll take you over to Amazon to purchase it. I will get a commission off it, um, but it's a great way to support this channel if you have liked anything I've done in the past. So moving forward, why? Why do you want to be a songwriter, musician, engineer, producer? Of course, the easy answer is I love music or I've been playing guitar my entire life and I want to try to make it a career. Whatever it is, you need to have more of a defined why than just that. Because guess what? You're going to go through trials, you're going to be tested, and it's going to be very, very hard. And if you don't have a strong why that compels you to move past that pain period, then you're just going to fall off. You're not going to be able to stick through it. You're not going to be able to see the results that you want. So you really have to start stepping away from the how-tos. We can go on YouTube all day long and do how to mix, how to use a compressor, how to write better songs, how to, how to, how to. But at the end of the day, no matter what that video tells you, it's not going to be the instant fix. It's not going to be just all of a sudden, oh, wow, now I'm really good at writing songs. Or I'm really good at using compressors. You actually have to practice those things. Everything takes practice. And it's a really hard thing for even me to grasp onto because everything is so fast these days. And we want instant gratification, but nothing comes instant. Everything is going to take time. And so knowing why it is that you want to do something is going to help you discern whether the thing you're practicing is worth your while or not. Whether it's going to be that thing that you're actually going to be able to push through when stuff gets hard, it's going to all come back down to that why. And I experience this on a day-to-day -day basis. I experience it with my YouTube channel. I experience it with my production business. I experience it with my marriage. I mean, everything in life to push through and get the fruit of actually putting in the work and sowing your seeds and allowing things to grow is going to come down to that strong why. So you really have to start doing some soul searching, some self-reflection, and it's not going to be easy. Your why has to be more than materialistic stuff. It cannot be for more gear, for a better studio, for whatever it is. It really needs to be something that's, you know, like core to you as a human being that helps other people, that pushes culture forward. And I know that sounds really heady and lofty and, you know, I don't even really know what that means for myself yet. Um, I created this YouTube channel to just really try to help you, the DIY musician, make better music. And now I'm st starting to talk about these crazy, heady, you know, big global ideas. But really, it has to be that because um, at the end of the day, I'm finding that this YouTube channel is more challenging than I thought. I, you know, have been doing videos about three times a week now. I started with 90 videos in 90 days, and I ended up doing 100 videos in 100 days. And this, that, that instant motivation to just do it was what got me through that first 100 days. And now that I've been doing it for a while and I'm averaging about 100 views a day, but I'm kind of staying stagnant there, it's easy to get discouraged and kind of think, well, is this really worth it? And I have to constantly remind myself, it's not about me and what I like, it's about being able to help you and the best way that I can. And I'm not saying that I'm the guru, I'm the end all be all, I know everything. In fact, I don't. I'm still learning, I'm still growing, and I wanna be that way for the rest of my life. And this YouTube channel has kind of taken on a new meaning for me. It really helps me become better at what I'm doing because I have to make sure that I you know, know what I'm talking about. I don't always know what I'm talking about, full disclosure. I've been called out on stuff where I've actually gotten stuff wrong, but I love that. I love that back and forth dialogue because now it makes me feel like I'm actually engaging in a community of people. And through that, I'm helping you, you're helping me. And I absolutely think that's great. You know, iron sharpens iron. I don't want to be that one-sided conversation. I know there's a lot of tutorials out there. There's a lot of really talented and very, very professional people teaching what I'm trying to teach. But at the end of the day, have you ever been in a room with somebody who knows everything and won't actually kind of level out and talk to you as a person? I know I have. Even if they're really, really great, maybe the information they're giving me isn't right for my situation. Maybe the information they're giving me is actually hurting me because I'm not at the level to where I can use that information to my benefit, but you can't have that one 
that back and forth dialogue. And I want to be that place where you can leave me a comment. I'll respond to you. You can go on my website. You can send me an email. I'll respond to you. I want to have that conversation. I don't want to come at it where I know everything and this is how it worked for me. I want to know your story. I want to be able to say, okay, where's this person at? How can I help them? If I can't help them, where can I find information that might be able to help them? You know, I want to be that, you know, this kind of conduit for community. And that's really starting to develop my why, why I continue to make these videos and continue to step forth in this process. And it's just one area of my life that I've been investing in. And, you know, I have my production business. I have my family. I have these other things where I need to really know why it is I'm doing the things I'm doing. And, you know, my why goes even deeper than that community thing. Um, if you really want to know my story, I will also leave another link below to an ebook that I wrote that's kind of, you know, it's called LMAPS. It's an anagram for Psalms. You can go ahead and download it for free. Um, it's kind of my story and my journey and how I came to um, my faith in Jesus Christ and what it means. And I know that sometimes that can be a really loaded term. I was there. I never wanted to hear anything from people that want to talk to me about Christianity or faith. But trust me, there's something there. And if you read it, you'll get a very, very gritty, raw version of my story. So I definitely recommend checking that out. But, um, and, you know, really, your why is everything. Knowing why it is to do stuff, why you're on this planet living. It'll help you make decisions. It'll help you know what's worth your time, what's not worth your time. Again, also this book, Start With Why. Check it out. It'll be worth your time. I can only scratch the surface of what he talks about in this video. I hope you got something out of this. I hope it motivates you. I hope it inspires you. If you got anything out of it, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button because it helps me get these videos out to more people. Leave me a comment below telling me your why or if you have any questions or you just want to reach out and say hello. I love hearing from you. I, again, my name is Brad Johnson at johnson.audio where I just want to help you create music that people love, stay inspired, and never give up. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.